when it comes to some of the most young dynamic wings in today's NBA that simply have been exceeding in their roles, there's this three level versatile score that is headed down that same path. Now this is a player who really took time to improve his game drastically and turned himself into one of the more so tough shot makers in the whole entire country at the high school level. He just stayed devoted to his grind through all the ups and downs. This is the Dusty Stromer story. Dusty Stromer was born on August 9th, 2003 in Northridge, California. Now someone who really inspired him to take basketball serious was his grandfather as he was the co-founder of the Indiana Pacers. So he was always around basketball as a kid since his parents were athletes of their own in high school on top of the fact that his mother is 5'11 and his father is 6'4 it became very evident at a young age that Dusty was going to be pretty tall himself. As he got older, he would start to take basketball more and more serious and by just the ninth grade while attending Sherman Oaks Northern Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California, Dusty stood at 6'4", but was the wavy, long, blunted haired kid who mostly just shot threes. But little did hardly anybody know around that time that in just a span of two years, he would be one of the top players in the whole entire state. So as COVID arrived in March of 2020, Stromer practically disappeared for a whole entire year. He didn't attend his school in the 2020-2021 season. Dusty did all of his high school studies online, but really took a initiative behind closed doors to sharpen up his game and was determined to strive to be the best player he could possibly be. But it was tough seeing all of his peers get all the attention because they were playing and he wasn't. But he only used it as motivation. And he even stated, quote unquote, I just worked out, worked on my game, did a lot of stuff at home. He didn't play organized basketball until section seven, which was an NCAA sanctioned recruiting event in Arizona that runs every year. He stated, quote unquote, I just wanted to go out there and show everyone what I've been working on. Throughout all the time I was working out, so many people had things to say about my development. If I was doing the right things, things like that. So after not even playing for a while, he was eager to put his skills on display at the Section 7 event. And he did not disappoint in front of the top college coaches across the nation. But Stromer just kept going and carried the momentum over to that summer. While playing in the Nike EYBL circuit for Team Why Not, there he showed his excellent ability and confidence from three, but he also displayed just overall winning basketball, which was no doubt a big part in his team winning the 16U Peach Jam Championship in South Carolina, and even played alongside Jared McCain. Now things were quite eye-opening, going into his junior season, returning back to high school, as he had went from 6'4 in his freshman year to 6'7 in 180 pounds as a junior that season he really stood out on the simple fact that you could just tell that he really took pride on adding different things to his arsenal from his defense to his decision making as a playmaker he really used his crazy length to create and make extremely tough shots that season dusty put up 20 points seven rebounds and nearly two steals a contest in 29 games that season but also went on to lead his team to their first Mission League title since 2001 and the program's first ever CIF Southern Section Open Division playoff berth. He ended his 11th grade campaign claiming the Mission League MVP in all CIF honors. As a senior, while playing alongside Caleb Foster and Mercy Miller, the squad went on to win their very first CIF Division I Regional Championship and then tapped it off with the state championship. That season, he put up 17 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. Now, Dusty is the 40th best ranked prospect in his class of 2023, as well as a 4-star recruit. Stromer has made the decision to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at Gonzaga. Dusty Stromer always did his thing on the court, but despite at times not receiving the recognition that he undoubtedly deserved, he stayed extremely committed to being an all-around standout hooper one day, which has no doubt paid off. I can feel myself, you know, like, like if anyone has ever trained that hard every single day, you feel yourself getting better fast. So you know it's worth it because you can feel it. Um, and I knew that. 
And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dusty Stromer story.